everyone, it's Sophia, and today we are going to be making kitchen sink cookies. So, make sure to wash your hands two, not two times, two, do the birthday song two times, and wash your hands for 20 seconds. So now I'm going to explain what kitchen sink cookies are and the ingredients. Okay, so do you love soft and chewy cookies? I really hope you do because I've got a great recipe for you. So, it's got everything we love. We're calling this our kitchen sink cookie. Magical, right? Okay. Um, so three secret squirrel tips for you are, use some cornstarch. We removed a little bit of flour and added in the same amount of cornstarch. This makes your cookies thick and chewy. Thick cookies. Second tip is to underbake your cookies for two to three minutes. Three is three in Spanish. Anyway, um, and third, where's the third? Oh, we use melted and cooled butter, but I just said butler. Um, I didn't mean butler. Okay, butter. And it helps the cookie to be softer and more chewy and less crisp and crunchy. If you prefer a crispy cookie, crispier cookie, just allow them to bake those an extra two to three minutes. Don't forget, before you start cooking, always wash your hands for 20 seconds, like I said in the beginning. And always read your recipe completely to make sure you have all the necessary ingredients and equipment. So I'm going to explain what you will need. So you need a rubble or silicone spatula. And what's it called, what's it called, what's it called? <laughs> flat spatula okay. a flat like pancake flipper a flat spatula we have another one at least it's a metal flat spatula um oven mitts because you don't want to burn yourself two cooling racks two cooling racks two baking sheets a dinner fork or a whisk or an, a no, mixer Okay, what's next? So, I'm going to explain the ingredients now. So, the if this is our dry bowl and this is our, you know, sugar bowl. So, this in the sugar bowl is a half a cup of packed light brown sugar, a half a cup of granulated sugar, and one teaspoon pure vanilla extract. And then in here is two cups of all-purpose flour. Remove three teaspoons of flour and add in three teaspoons of cornstarch. Cornstarch. Sift or mix well with salt and baking soda com to combine dry ingredients. And one teaspoon of baking soda is on here too. And one teaspoon of salt. Leave out the salt if you're using salted butter. So, we're just gonna get on with making dough. And we, oh right, we have to read the, all the other ingredients. And so one, a half a cup of melted and cooled butter. Unsalted is the best, but just leave out the salt in this recipe if you use it salted butter. One whole large egg plus the other yolk, because that's how you get it in, you know. That makes it chewy whip too. It, whip it, whip it, whip it in the salt. <laughs> Add an extra egg yolk, and that makes your cookies chewy. Um, a half a cup of Plain or peanut M and M's. We are using plain M and M's. Okay, I don't. I need this. We're using plain M and M's, and here are just Reese's, and I will explain how much we're using. So this is a half a cup of plain M and M's, um, a half a cup of your favorite chocolate chips. We are using white chocolate chips. Let's see. Um, <gasps> okay, ah! put the plate down. Put the plate down. Pick up the peanut butter and show the peanut butter. Okay. Mm, throw that in the sink. No, throw that in the sink. <laughs> if you drop anything on the floor, it's best to throw it away. I have a cup of peanut butter. We're using extra because we're peanut butter lovers. We love peanut butter. And let's see. That's it, right? Um, no, we need Reese's. Oh, we right. Reese's. I have a cup of Reese's, trapped Reese's. And, and you could use Reese's Pieces if you like. Oh, and half a cup of Raisinets. They're chocolate-covered Raisinets. Aunt Chrissy brought us a box of Raisinets. So we decided to be extra and Shout add in. Shout out to her. Shout out to her. She's so let's pause the video me. and then you can start to mix. Okay. Okay, Bye. we'll be back. Ew, that was 
was such a workout. So in this bowl that I'm mixing now is a light brown, light packed brown sugar, um, vanilla, granulated sugar, and melted butter. So now we are going to add in the beaten egg, and the vanilla is already in here. So it says on the recipe that so the vanilla is already in. Here. So I'm just going to mix that up. While I'm mixing, I'm going to explain what I'm going to do next. So I'm just going to leave the whisk in the bowl. I'm going to add the peanut butter in, the creamy peanut butter. Those are going to be some amazing cookies. I know. Get every last bit of that peanut butter. Yum, yum. That's it. You can use the whisk, too, to get some of it out. Oh, that's going to be good. Okay, so <laughs> elbow grease, elbow grease. Use that elbow grease. Okay. I'm gonna mix it in, like, I'm gonna mix it in halfway, then when I add all the other ingredients, I'm gonna mix it in with it. Oh boy, what's on that plate? Tell everyone. Chocolate covered raisinets, peanut butter cups, and M&Ms. So, wow. this is the moment of the truth. Wow. And then, don't forget your other oh. ingredient. Oh. And then the white chocolate chips. Wee. Oh my God. This, this is going to be colorful. Yeah. You may need Ooh. to want, you may want to use your, um, your rubber oh. spatula now. Oh, let's go. And then we add in our flour and cornstarch and baking soda. I almost fall off the... Don't fall off the stool. I'm trying not to. <laughs> Good job. All right. So now you can tell everyone what's next. So. Oh. Yeah. Rubber spatula is the best at this point. Just leave that in there. Leave that in there. Yeah. Your rubber spatula is right in front of you. Oh, yeah. There you go. Okay. So what's next? So next is, here's another helpful tip. You are going to chill the stove for two to three hours minimum, but we are going to chill it overnight because it just needs to just form and we just need to chill it overnight because that's how you make the best chewy cookies. It's true, there's another secret tip for you. You always chill your cookie dough. All right, so we will see you tomorrow. Bye. Hi everyone, we are back. The cookie dough was chilled overnight and we let it sit out for 10, oh, it's raining. We let it sit out for 10 to 15 minutes to warm up a little. We preheated our oven to 325 degrees Fahrenheit, even though you can't see that, but we did. And it's time to wash your hands, which I did, and wash your hands for 20 seconds, but they saw them two times, so that ended the game. So, let's get scooping. Oh, I just burped. Okay, I got my first scoop, put it on the X. It's hard. Oh, it's raining, it's hard. <laughs> you want to space out your cookies so they don't spread into each other and obviously you can see that our dough is still a bit chilled but that is what we want because we don't want our cookies to spread and go flat so we are going Ooh. to pause and finish scooping and we will be back and that is definitely thunder you hear We'll be back. Ooh, that's hard. That's actually really hard. Hi, everyone. So we are back, and these are the cookies. There is about 17 cookies, and they are jumbo. So there is, there's, I don't even know how many. There's 17 jumbo cookies. There's nine on this one. And then And they're nicely eight. spaced. Yeah, nicely spaced. And if you wanted to make smaller cookies, you could use a smaller scoop or spoon. Just bake them about three to four minutes less and you'll have some lovely soft cookies. Okay, so we're gonna go and put them in the oven. I'll see you after. Hi everyone, so the cookies have finished baking. Our house smells amazing. We're going to let them sit on the baking sheet for five to 10 minutes which we have done. And now I'm going to move them to the cooling rack for 30 minutes, which we have done, but I want to taste them warm. 
anyway, then we will store a red. So where do I put them? You take them off the cookie sheet and you put them on the cooling rack. That way the bottoms can cool. There you go. You use the spatula. Fingers are okay too. And now I am going to move them for the cooling rack for 30 minutes. I'm going to try one. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Bye.